Jeff? Mr. Pleasant. Nice to meet you. You too. Why don't you come on in and have a seat? Thank you, sir. Say, that's a mighty fine watch you got on there, sir. Thank you very much. It's actually a family heirloom. Oh, very nice, very nice. Um, now, Jeff, I just reviewed your resume, and I'm going to overlook the fact that it's a John Doe sample resume and just kind of get right into it. Uh, so you're interested in working for the company, is that correct? Yes, sir, I am. Okay, very good. Now, I spoke with your former employer, and they told me that you were fired from your last position. May I ask why? No. Well, I was actually being polite. I kind of need to know why you were terminated from your last position if you're going to work for me. Well, it's not that big of a deal, sir. I, I just got fired because I was caught stealing from the company a little bit. Wait. Did you say you got caught stealing from your last company? Because if you did, that's a big problem. Well, I'm not going to get caught again, sir. Jeff, let me explain something to you. Why don't we call it Business 101? Okay. Companies have this thing they like to make. It's called money. Maybe you've seen it before. It's that little green stuff you've got crawling around in your wallet. Yeah, yeah, I think I've heard okay, of it. Okay, well, when you steal a company's money, big bosses like me get very, very upset. But I just don't understand, sir. I mean, I wasn't taking money from people's wallets or desks. I just fished into the company's stocks a little bit and took some money. I was very professional about it. Jeff, that's terrible. How much money did you steal? Not that much. Jeff, sweetheart, this ends when you want it to end. Now, how much money did you steal? Sir, it doesn't matter how much I stole. What matters is... How much money did you steal? 200000 dollars. <laughs> $200,000. You mean to tell me you stole $200,000? That's why you got fired from your last company. Yeah. Well, you know, the boss was a real tight wad. And actually, sir, I would have gotten more if the company's computer tech wasn't sticking around after hours and caught me hacking into the system. But, oh, well. This isn't funny, Jeff. I can't afford to have you stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from my company. Okay, okay, look, sir. What if I just take a little bit here and a little bit there? You hardly even notice. Jeff, please. Sir, it'll be like stealing cookies from the cookie jar one at a time. I mean, nobody even notices until the cookie jar is empty, but it doesn't matter because your mom keeps putting in more cookies. My last company just really sucked at putting in more cookies, sir. That's what your job is. You're my mom right now. Okay, first of all, Jeff, I don't think your mother would pass for a six-foot black man. Second of all, you're not even hired yet, and you're trying to bargain with me on how much money you can steal. Sir, it's not that big of a deal, the stealing thing. It's not like I'm going into your pocket and taking your wallet or something. Well, I think I'd rather you pick my pocket than bankrupt my company, Jeff. You know, I like you and all, uh, but unfortunately, uh, the economy's really bad right now. And I just can't afford a thief cookie jar metaphor. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to hire you. I understand, sir. I understand. Do you know of any place where I can take my empty cookie jar? There's a law firm down the street. They have a private practice, and I think they handle accident cases. You might want to try them. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for coming, but I'm sorry it's not going to work out. That's okay, sir. You have yourself a good day. You as well. Thank you.